Yo, brother, what's up, man? Yeah, hey, what up, man? Yeah, man, great, great, great stuff, man. I just yeah, have yeah. a few questions to ask you, brother. Um, Shoot. Um, so, um, as we have seen, man, in 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 in, in South Africa, people um, like women, um, almost every day they're wearing um, <laughs> dukes on their heads. And stuff, man. We call the head wraps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, I just want to know, and um, if you can um, excavate on that, as to where they actually come from and the significance of wearing them. Okay. Uh, so, head head coverings, man. Head coverings are amongst our people here in South Africa. Uh, they are a very important aspect. I know a lot of people will think they came because there was this thing of head coverings came from the Bible, uh, from Christianity to oppress our people. You know everything. There's always people who think they are smart, they know. So, head coverings, firstly, it's actually not just for women. I oh. know you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not just for women. I remember watching the Ikea Lamauel. Yeah. And you can the see the men, they're wearing yes. some, some head, head, head wraps. Yeah. Absolutely. So head coverings, I think they are, they, are, they mainly have to do with respect and, and, and reverence and uh, discretion, like being discreet in terms of uh, how, how, you, how you put yourself out there. Firstly, amongst men, there are different head, head, head covers for different ages. You're not going to see a five-year-old boy with a head covering. Nah, there's no need. You, I want, there's different levels of, of growth and, and maturity and even positions. Mm. And the same can be said with women, right? There's a girl who has never been with a man before in her life, who has never gotten married. That, that, that's a child, you know. Uh, culturally, that's as good as a boy, in actual fact, you see. But then once that girl comes of age now, you know, yeah. there's a certain element and level of respect she must uh, portray towards her body to start with. Not towards someone else, towards her body, you know. There are times when she will have to seclude herself uh, traditionally. Uh, especially when she's on a period, she secludes herself to the side, she covers her head, she wears something long, she keeps warm, she doesn't, you know, go around doing all sorts of stuff. That's like the early stages. But at the moment you get married, so the, the idea is to uh, uh, hide yourself, or rather preserve yourself, right? Mm. When, when someone gets married, you know, they are, they are, their head wrap, it has to cover even the, the eyes to an extent. They are born. I know the this even thing. the ears as well. Yeah, even the ears, like the face. Actually, yeah. you see those Muslim women covering their faces. Yeah, you know, it's something similar to that. Maybe not everything for us. Maybe they even got it from us. It's it's possible. You know, it's possible because talking about Ikea Lamawele, I've seen there in the movie. Uh, some people they wrap their heads even like the you know like the Moors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do actually. I downloaded the video, so you can clearly see that this whole culture of head wrap is very old. Even before Christianity took, you know, uh, uh, had a, an impact on our people, we've always covered our heads. And the crazy thing is that people who are Christians now don't even cover their heads. Mm. They don't even cover their bodies, let alone their heads. Their bodies are naked. They go to, you even find them going to church on Sundays, they'll be sitting on front row and they're naked, including the pastors yeah, wearing tight trousers <laughs> and tight shirts. Like, what the hell, man? Are you more, what's happening? Are you, are you trying to, 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 to seduce people? You see? Yeah, man, I, I think many of them just go to church to seduce the pastors and stuff, man. Because some girls, they will actually go to the church and actually sit on the front seat. Yeah, yeah. And then they will open their legs while yeah, the pastor yeah, yeah. is preaching. Well, you know? there, is, there, there is that element. We can't deny that. Yeah. There's that element. Uh, I, I know, actually, of one individual who confessed to doing that. <laughs> and she... she she, yeah. she was she specialized in that. Yeah, it's crazy. I also know some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she specialized in doing that, and I know pastors, you know, who specialize in taking advantage of those girls. You know, mm. they look for the younger, purer ones. You know, the more innocent ones. Yeah, and they become their papas or their spiritual fathers. It's crazy because even the Bible, the one that they say they believe in, it says, "Hey, Baba, there's no one who's my father here on earth. There's only one father, the one in heaven." But mm. these pastors, they they deny that. They actually don't even 
consider it. Mm. They, they, they impose themselves as fathers to these little girls. They rape them. Mm. They teach them all sort of stuff. They traumatize the hell out of these girls. Yeah, man. Um, so, so uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what's what's your take, brother, on on this verse that says, um, "The head of the woman is the man." Belongs to the man. The head of the woman mm. is the man, and the head of the man is Christ. Oh, okay. and then it oh. says, women then must cover their heads. Oh, okay. So no, I get you. What, what does wow. that mean? There? Wow, that's that's very interesting. Eh? That's very interesting. I think. Uh... And then there's the other one that also says, if then a woman doesn't cover her hair, then she should um, be shown um, so that she can be bald. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I've seen. I know of a group of people who actually do that in their church. They they sort of like they shave the the the, the, the hair. And the women they shave the hair. Then she can go, you know, bald. She doesn't have to cover when there's no hair. Yeah. So the head of the woman is the man, and the head. Of, okay, I, I I get what you're saying there. Yeah. It talks more about you know leadership. It talks more about authority. But let's look at it from the perspective of a woman who must cover the head. Yeah. And now this very same book says the head is the man. So the woman must cover the man. Uh, there's a video the where... The thing is, ne, pastors and, and preachers use this verse to say now women must wear head wraps. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Just want to, to you to clear that up. No, I get that. But I mean, women, obviously, they used to wear head wraps long ago. It doesn't even need to be in the Bible, man. It's a cultural thing. But I think that on the idea of covering your man, uh, there's there's a there's a guy there in scripture who says he who finds a wife, you know, finds a good thing and obtains favor from from the Most High, right? Yeah, is that the wisdom of Solomon? Yes, I think so. I think it's the Proverbs actually. Uh, there's another one, uh, you know, where it talks about Eve, that Adam was uh, alone and all that, and the Most High said, I, I will make him a suitable helper. Or a helper compatible to him. Now, the helper the, talks about helping, and then this one talks about covering. Yeah, I think I think it's more like uh, complementing each exactly. other. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a matter of now now completion. This man, mm, now this man is the head. Where's the woman? I'm sure the woman is the neck. And the ah. body. <laughs> nah. the, but, no, no, there's no head <laughs> that can exist on its own, my brother. The woman is the neck. No, think about it. <laughs> but the, the neck is, is what controls the, 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 the head. Yeah. And then what controls the man? I want to get into that. It's if you're going to say that then the, 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 the woman is the, is the neck, then you, you're literally saying that the woman actually controls the head. Well, they complement each other. I, I but don't think it's far from that. on the other hand, I could look at it in the way that the brain controls the whole body. Absolutely. So, and that's the man. Yeah. Eh? But I don't think it's control in the sense of you can't do anything. I'm controlling here. No, it's more like working together. Because if the yeah. neck is not working, the brain can be working. All, you remember that guy Stephen Hawking? That, yeah. that scientist who, his brain was working, but his body his wasn't. His body wasn't. He's gone. You see? So even if the head is then strong and all that, you need the other parts of the body as well. Yeah. yeah. Because that's it's it's communication. When the when the brain sends signals to your glands, when the brain sends signals to your thyrox or th thyroid glands, th th there's a, there's a process that has to be both both ways. It's a, a two-sided um, um process. But to go back to the question of uh, the, the covering the head, symbolically and literally, both are valid. Because the head has to be covered, eh? both physically and metaphysically. Now, you see a lot of women who, wives specifically, who, who get married and then they, you know, a few years later, all of a sudden the husband is a monster now. Eh? In public courts, uh, the husband is a monster, he must be charged, he must be sued and all that. If there's you know physical abuse involved, okay, I hear that. But there, sometimes there's absolutely no reason to do that. But it maybe points us to a much deeper issue of lack of covering. The man is not covered, eh? 
The man is seen as the one who must provide and do all this. The man must work, man, for the relationship to work. Even even like a normal relationship where there's no marriage. If you're a man, you have to work very hard for it to work. But then there's no, you know, reciprocity from the other side. So, do we then say women have abandoned their divine uh, place of being covers, of being a complementary um, uh, um, 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 partners? Uh, have they abandoned that? Is it because is it, is it the reason why we see now a lot of the times even older women like? Yeah, earlier you'd see young ladies dancing online, blah 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 blah. Right, young people. Now you see older people, man. You know. Yeah, man. From 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 what I have observed, man, I would say apartheid has an effect on that, because uh, men were actually taken from their homes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they they had to go and work in 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 places that are far away from their homes, and they had to leave their children and wives. So. That means that the women had to actually head the houses, yeah. and then that actually now creates another uh, another another thing on the society that the women now can actually be the ruler of the house. Absolutely. You see, even even today, man, there are many many houses that are actually headed by women. Absolutely. Which and which is which is not which is not uh, a conducive environment for for the young men. Because yeah. actually they, they need um, someone in the house to look up to Even know. society as a whole, not just the, the young men in the house Society as a whole, remember, men exist for a reason They don't just exist to make people pregnant and run or disappear Men exist for a reason, just like if this society was only led by men only mm. Or headed by men only, you'd still have very serious problems Just like if there were no children in the world, no young people in the world You'd have very serious problems so each and every part of the system is exceedingly important. That's why now, because men have, because of apartheid and slavery and all that, the structure was broken, right? And it's still being broken to this day. But I become so shocked when I interact with other races, mm. and you see, they're so intact, man. Mm. Like, you, you know it, they're so intact. Like at the age of 22, these people are already thinking about getting married. And they're not even stressing, man, about anything yeah. else. Yeah, and if, and you, if, and, and if you speak to us, man, oh no, I don't want to get married, uh, nah. Because there's and, so much happening. Uh, I think people want to be uh, whoring around. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, we've become <laughs> uh, prostitutes now, men and women. Yeah. You people are prostitutes. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing, man, men were taken away from their families, right? Yeah. And they were with other men. Now, what that does, it creates a cult amongst men, right? Where obviously you know when we men we together, there's, there's there's gonna be the head of the group or multiple heads of multiple groups, and there's always gonna be this constant need to 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 prove yourself mm. or this constant need to to praise the other one. There's always one who's in charge and the others are praising them, and I think uh, you even see it to this day. There's a man who's married, but then he he he's, he's more excited about going out with his guys and watching soccer than being with his children at home. Mm. That's a symptom of a bigger problem. If it's gonna be more exciting to you as a father to go out with other men and get drunk than to be at and home look at bumps and breasts <laughs> than to be at home with your babies, then yeah. that's a problem. I'm not saying people must stay indoors all the time and be, no, obviously, man. You know, you need to have a complete life. You know, you can't just be, uh, uh, you know. There must be balance. Yes, you must be balanced. But some people are not balanced. They wanna go out with friends all the. They even sneak out. So it shows that <laughs> because of the, this long period of being broken and all that, people have normalized uh, that brokenness into the norm. It's become the norm now. That's why women are leading households, you know? Mm. Women are leading households, even doing duties that are supposed to be done by men. Yeah, one. Even doing duties mm. that are supposed to be done by men because uh, the system in which we exist does not work for us. At mm. all levels, at social levels, at economic levels, at uh, every single level, it, even spiritually, this system doesn't. It's it's actually anti us. You see, so now um, you need that nucleus family, right? Because it starts there at home. You need that nucleus. The, the home is the building block of the society. We can live in this system, but live within our own system. In this system, Muslims do it all the time. Jews do it all the time. Indians do it all the time. Indians are living within this system, but then within their own system. 
Even Europeans, you know, you have French people, they're living according to their French way of life, Dutch people. So, we're the only group that lives according to social media. If one black lady dances there showing her underwear, and yo, know, you'll find guys there, you know, obviously preparing to masturbate. Yeah. They'll be there commenting, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now, other ladies can see that this girl is getting attention, right? Yeah. And then, boom, it becomes a trend. On, all the trends, man. Man, it's always I, I, about I, I, sexual I, I'll, I'll say, brother. <laughs> I mean, as we, as 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 men, yeah. I think we are attracted to women bodies, you know. Yeah, which is and then for them thing. to show thing. it, they actually killing us, you know, because now you get distracted, you know. Well, they want the attention. Uh, that that uh, and then I remember. Uh, 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 back then when uh, we were still schooling you know yeah, yeah. when there was wind and stuff yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and the, the wind would blow the skirts of the girls and then all the boys will be excited and start laughing and they make all lot of yeah, noises yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, some will actually scream no man don't. Mm. when the girl tries to grab the skirt they mm. will say no 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 leave the skirt man leave it leave it yeah, man. so but but you know what if if you if boys had come from strong families that wouldn't even be exciting, man. Because some, some strong families, they teach children. When you look at someone else's bums, man, it's, it's almost like bad luck. Like, it's a nyama or it's a Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. You'll have, you'll I remember that. You'll be disliked yeah, by people. So, yeah. this thing of seeing other people's bums and, and yeah. eyes, like, and, it was, and it sometimes, was taboo. And, and even sometimes when you have bad luck, they used to say, Utunusel. Utunusel, exactly. <laughs> you, 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 someone has shown you, you know, their private part. So, now it's crazy that every single day people are bombarded with vaginas and thighs and anuses and, and breasts and those things are not supposed to be public that, that's not public property you know but it's crazy because it sells it sells man there's people who want to see that and trust me there is if, if you're a lady and you're showing your naked body out there and you're gonna tell me you're gonna come and try to be righteous and say I'm not doing it for men you're lying you're doing it for men my dear sister stop lying be honest with yourself you're showing your body for the man who will give you the attention that you want and this nonsense this trivial pursuit of validation must stop man it's a trivial nonsense you're not gonna gain anything from it within the next 10 years your body will be shaking like jelly and you're not gonna gain anything it's, it's, it's flesh and blood <laughs> nothing hectic everyone has flesh and blood man. i saw this one this one post, oh, man. Man. It's, i saw this one post and it's you know it could be debated and all that but this guy was like, uh, get yourself a white lady if you can, blah, blah, blah. And he posted pictures of guys like Sia Colis and other guys who are with white ladies who are successful. And one black lady there posted and said, a white lady could never. And then she posted a, a, a picture of a, this black girl with big bums and all that. I'm like, what the hell, man? Is that all she thinks about when she thinks about black women? She's trying to defend the fact that you must be with black women simply because they have big bums. You don't... I mean, people get big bums. There's prostitutes, man, and everywhere. She could have said other things that black women have on offer, which, like, there's plenty, man. We, yeah. we, were, give, we were born by... Uh, we were born of black women. We know black women are special, you know? But then it's like they don't see it. The only thing they see is that they've got big bums and they've got breasts and they must shake their body. It's so toxic, man, because everyone is doing it. And the next thing, someone is going to do something else uh, in the next month. And mm. it's going to trend. Maybe, I don't know what they're going to do. Kill a cat on, 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 on a live stream. Everyone's going to start killing cats. Group behavior, man. So predictable. I can't even pay someone to kill themselves online. Mm. And everyone's going to follow. So, uh, just going back, man, to the family structure that was broken. The nucleus family, right? If there's a strong family unit amongst our people, kids can be taught from here. Program the kids. They must be programmed. They will be programmed either way, man. Children will be programmed either way. Whether you don't program them at home, they'll be programmed by TV, they'll be programmed by cartoons, they'll be programmed by education. Programming is something that's always going to happen. So you program them at home, Baba. Just like the Jews are programming their kids, the Muslims are programming their kids, the Indians are programming their kids, the Chinese are programming... Look at Chinese TikTok, man. You know, even the algorithm is set up in such a way that they reward innovative thinking, they reward uh, community building uh, ideas in, in, the Chinese, uh, in, in China. The algorithm of TikTok, whereas in the in the other and the rest of the world, al the, the the TikTok algorithm rewards stupidity. You go there, you vomit, or you make uh, sex noises, or you make sex dances. Cat noises. <laughs> cat noises. Hey man, I saw someone was making cat noises yesterday. You get rewarded for that. You have so many followers. There's a girl. She 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 likes doing this dance and shaking the 
her, her buttocks <laughs> and she gets so many followers that's uh, but in china that's not the case because they understand the unit so they're destroying everything else and everyone else whereas they are preserving themselves america on the other hand they're destroying themselves and everyone else at the same time you see in america you even see members of parliament what, what do they call it senate yeah people who are running for senate you see them tracking our oh, live tv yeah man i saw i saw this guy and in parliament he was rapping like uh, <laughs> about putin and stuff um what the hell is yeah going man, on? yeah see? so what, what do we need yeah, it was like put a bullet in putin's brain <laughs> put a bullet in putin's brain you see that's that's a deterioration uh, that was man. dope man that's an unprecedented <laughs> deterioration uh, because everything is built on lies, obviously, in this current system. So what we need, man, is the strong family structure, right? Yeah. A man understanding exactly what his manhood is and what he has to offer in the relationship. Women understanding her womanness, uh, womanhood and femininity within the relationship. Children yeah. understanding that they're children. You see now families that are led by children. There's, the parents are there, yeah. but then the, if the child cries for something, eh, yeah, the parents can even yeah. fight, man. Okay, because the child needs to get that. Yeah, but, we, we're out of time right now, so we have to... Uh, cut, up, cut, cut, it, cut okay. this and yeah, uh, but, but the, the main thing, man, eh? black men and women, we can always point fingers, say, yeah, uh, black men are finished, which is true. Black men are destroyed, broken, broken as hell, broken bastards, weak and effeminate, can't even think for yourself. You, black men, yeah, same thing, start can be said. behaving like ladies, yeah, you, you know? behave, you, you'll be there cross dressing and making all you want to be is to be a TikTok joker, go there, learn a skill, man. And then you have the black females who are always pointing a finger at someone else. Even if she falls down the stairs, ah, it's the black man. Ah, shut up, cry baby. Wake up. Be strong. Stop being weak, man. And let's start working together. I, I've got strong black women around me so, so that we are clear. Eh? <laughs>